Assalamu alaikum, my brother, my sister. You could have learned a lot. How much you are going to teach people depends on your specialization. You may only be teaching one subject, you may be teaching many subjects, you may only be teaching upon entry level basics, you may be going into the details, but you may never ever be teaching every single subject. Remember that. So, don't become too proud and arrogant and don't start thinking this one doesn't know and that one doesn't know and this one is like this and I know more and I'm intelligent and I'm a sheikh and I'm an alim and I'm a this and a that. No, knowledge belongs to Allah. Yes, make an effort to learn with humbleness and humility and respecting others. Teach them, guide them, speak to them. Don't speak down to them. Speak across, subhanallah. Address people with utmost respect. Don't try and make it seem like you're the one who knows everything and nobody else knows anything and it's just me. No, it's not just you. To be honest, you could know everything. You could have a lot of knowledge, but maybe Allah did not use you to spread that knowledge because of your arrogance. Maybe Allah has not used you and you might pick it up and you're busy attacking everyone here and there, not realizing that, you know what? Only 5% of what you've actually learned do the masses probably need immediately. That's something interesting. It's only those who specialize in subjects that would need much more than just the 5%. So if the general masses and the general people, what do they need? They need to know who is Allah. They need to know about Allah. They need to know... Uh, to worship Allah alone they need to know what the worship is they would have to learn tahara salah they would need to know what's halal what's haram they would have to know rules and regulations and that's it but they don't need to go into every nitty-gritty of every single subject they don't need to go into every single verse of the Quran and its detail and and and, and all the linguistic differences yes it's important to expand knowledge but not everyone is going to specialize it's not a duty upon everyone to specialize in everything. No. They need to know the basics, the minimum. What is called or termed in the Arabic language, مَا هُوَ مَعْلُومٌ مِّنَ الدِّينِ بِالضَّرُورَةِ That which is supposed to be known regarding the faith necessarily. That is something, yes, you need to know. But beyond that, some people will specialize in certain subjects, some in other subjects. Don't you think that you are the one who knows it all. And don't despise others. Support people. Some people, their job is entry level. They will go in and encourage people to do good and discourage them to do bad. Generally, they are not wrong. They are also fulfilling a duty unto Allah. They may be doing a good job. Who knows? And then there are some who specialize, who might be doing a good job too. But shaitan comes to us and makes us fight each other. Makes us believe that I'm doing something and these guys are doing nothing. Or my method is the correct method and these guys' method is not the correct method. Unless it's glaring you in the face, most probably it's just arrogance and shaitan that's making you think that way. So don't allow that to happen. I know this is a very, very important piece of advice. Take it from me. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala use every one of us. Grant us goodness. Ameen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum, my brother, my sister. You could have learned a lot. How much you are going to teach people depends on your specialization. You may only be teaching one subject. You may be teaching many subjects. You may only be teaching upon entry level basics. You may be going into the details, but you may never ever be teaching every single subject. Remember that. So, don't become too proud and arrogant and don't start thinking this one doesn't know and that one doesn't.